Have you ever wondered where ABBA was walking for the music video of Summer Night City? Where is that bay in which Agnetha and Frida were filmed on a boat? And in which streets did we see the members of ABBA strolling through? Welcome to a new location tour of their hometown, because Stockholm is really a summer night city. Here we are at Nybroviken, which is a small bay in central Stockholm. As so often, this area has changed since then, but as far as I can tell, this is where ABBA entered or left Benny's then new boat in 1978 for the filming of scenes of their newest music video, Summer Night City. The filming took place at the end of August 1978. Before we go on that boat trip with Agneta and Frida, let's explore the street scenes. The scene of Frida and Benny was filmed right across this bay. We just have to turn around. That's the street where Frida and Benny came walking down. In the video it looks slightly different, especially that building in the background is much bigger. It definitely is the same building, so I was quite irritated to see how far away it actually is. I can only explain it by distortion of camera angles and setups. I was looking through every possible street and corner in this area, and this is the only spot that really matches the rest of the scenery, with a railing and with Frida and Benny approaching it by walking down the street. This location is also mentioned in every source, including the ABBA Guide to Stockholm. So unless I got something completely wrong, this is it. Unfortunately, with the rest of the street locations, it doesn't get easier. In another scene, Frida and Benny are walking down a street which could virtually be any street. The camera angle is obscured to the left side and we don't really see any surroundings. There is one photograph that may have been taken around that moment. We see the boat and the Nordic Museum in the background. According to the ABBA guide, this picture was taken at Strandwegen. However, wherever you are in that street, you don't see the museum from this side. So this scene may still have been filmed from somewhere around the bay because this is, to my knowledge, the only site from which you see the museum exactly like that on the photograph. But once again, the museum in the background on the photo is much bigger. Here we are at Strandwegen, because this is also where Agneta and Björn were walking past the boats. As I said, it doesn't get easier with identifying exact spots of the streets. Once again, we don't really see any surroundings in this scene and the street itself is one kilometer long. So this spot here is just an approximation where Agneta and Björn could have been filmed. It would have been somewhere like this, in that long street with the boats to the left side. We have more precision with some of the scenes filmed on Benny's boat. Most of them were filmed in this harbor with a royal palace in the background. In one scene we see houses and chimneys in the background. According to Raffan.com, some boat scenes were filmed outside the islands Kasselholmen and Hrebsholmen. I'm standing at the shore of Benny's actual studio from today. One of the boat scenes could have been filmed somewhere here. The disco nightclub scenes were actually filmed in a studio at a recreation at Europa Film Studios in Stockholm. This studio does not exist anymore. As you can see, tracking down the precise locations for Summer Night City is not easy. 
we will be able to exactly trace back the final scene of the video shot by shot, that long, lingering scene at the end. But before we do that, let's talk about the song. Because the creation of the song itself was also quite difficult, and it has several historic milestones in ABBA's legacy. Summer Night City was released as a single in September 1978. By that time, ABBA had released five studio albums and were slowly starting to record their next album, which would become Voulez-vous in 1979. Summer Night City was one of the first songs recorded for the album, but was eventually not included and only released as a single. It became ABBA's second single not featured on one of their original studio albums. Summer Night City was already recorded in May 1978 at Metronome Studios. Over the summer of 1978, ABBA continued to work on the song with overdubs and vocal recordings at their brand new, very own Polar Studios. This was one of the first songs created there. The mixing of the song also turned out to be a difficult and lengthy process that took four days. They continued to add heavy compression to the song. According to ABBA sound engineer Michael Bitretto, they created more than 50 mixes. According to Karl Magnus Palm's descriptions from the archives, there are 11 different mixes until they reached the final version that became the single. The members of ABBA themselves were never really satisfied even with the final mix. However, in their official photo book, Benny says that he likes the song more now because it sounds a bit like songs from today, with all the heavy compression applied to it. The full-length version with dramatic introduction of strings, piano and vocals was actually broadcast on Swedish radio in 1978. It was introduced as the complete version, the way it will sound on ABBA's forthcoming album Voulez-vous. So the full-length version was intended for the album. In the end, this version was first released in 1994 on the box set Thank You for the Music. For their next concert tour starting in 1979, ABBA played the song live and it is based on the full-length version with dramatic introduction. For me, this is one of the highlights of the concert. Frida gives some operatic harmonies in the beginning, ad-libs during the powerful final section of the performance, and the live version brings out all the energy of ABBA and their amazing live band. The concerts at Wembley Arena were filmed and edited into the 50-minute program ABBA in Concert. Many performances were shortened, but Summer Night City was one of the few songs that was released in full. On ABBA's YouTube channel, you can watch the performances in high definition. The song was also performed at ABBA's final live concert in 1981. The studio recording was only performed on television in Japan in 1978. It reached number 24 on the charts in Japan, but stayed there for over half a year and became ABBA's third best-selling single in Japan. In Sweden, Summer Night City reached number one and became ABBA's final number one single in Sweden until Don't Shut Me Down in 2021. In the month-long lead-up to ABBA's Voyage concert premiere, Summer Night City was one of the few songs that we heard glimpses of Benny rehearsing it in his studio with a Voyage concert band. Today, the song is part of ABBA's Voyage show in a dazzling performance. Summer Night City was ABBA's tribute and love letter to Stockholm and it brings us right back to the city, to that final scene. I was always impressed by the fact that the camera moves and lingers on this scenery even though the music has long faded out. We see Stockholm's palace, the parliament house and the Royal Swedish Opera. I have no idea how they managed to have this area so deserted of people and cars even if it was filmed late at night or in the early morning hours. This place is always busy to some extent, but it happened nearly half a century ago. This is the same sequence, uninterrupted and not quite as empty, 45 years later. And this is our tribute to Summer Night City, the song and the music video. How do you like this song? And what do you think of the music video and all of these locations? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, until then, hey do!